California Attorney General Rob Bonta and San Diego City leaders are preparing to expand the city's aggressive campaign to prevent gun violence, including to make sure that court orders are implemented and enforced. Fox 5's Delaney White has more on their plan from downtown tonight. We have more mass shootings every year than we do days in the calendar year. Though the U.S. is leading in mass shootings, the city of San Diego is leading in prevention efforts. Today is a day to celebrate uh, the expansion of that work, of that impact uh, that San Diego has already had in the city and now it's going regional. Gun violence restraining orders or GRVOs allow law enforcement to temporarily take away guns from anyone deemed to be a danger to themselves or others. In San Diego alone, GVROs have helped us to take 3,700 weapons off of the streets. Bonta stressing the importance of protective orders and praising San Diego for using them more than any other jurisdiction in the state. It's not because they're overusing it, they're using it appropriately um, within the rules, with appropriate due process, when the facts and the law dictate it. At Tuesday's press conference, city leaders announcing the San Diego region is receiving more than $4 million in state grant funds to expand this effort. This funding will lead to one of the most significant expansions of gun violence prevention work in California since GVRO laws passed 10 years ago. In addition to increased training and education for the public on how to use GRVOs, the funding is going toward a firearms relinquishment task force. The group held their first meeting last week involving local, state, and federal law enforcement agencies. The grant funds will help us better identify dangerous people so that we can get court orders requiring them to surrender their firearms. Elliot pledging to expand the work not just to GRVOs, but to all California gun prohibiting civil orders. Thank you uh, to San Diego for showing the way. Uh, thank you for showing what collaboration looks like. And this funding will allow law enforcement to help with this effort by making sure those guns are actually surrendered. Reporting from downtown, Delaney White, Fox 5 News.